Hi there. Today I have my favorite axe. I've purchased several axes. If you've followed uh, my YouTube channel, you can see all the different axes I own. This is by far my the, the, the most favorite axe that I have. And I'm going to unsheath it and show it to you. But for crying out loud, pay attention and watch this. This, this, this is awesome. Uh, it comes with an axe book, they call it. And this one's in English. So it's got some really, just some neat little features. Hunter's Axe, look at this, awarded for excellent Swedish design in 1995. And I'd have to agree with them wholeheartedly. There are so many features in here that I love. This axe is it for the outdoorsman. If you're going to buy one axe, this is it. So you can see through these different little pictures here, all the different proper parts of the axe. I like this. This is very, very nice. We see here a guy, you know, by a fire, and then this hunting axe with our game harvested. Any anti hunters, get off my channel right now. All right, so we can see all this, and they show you basically what all their different axes are for and how they're used. And they have some really nice, beautiful pictures here. I'm going to go through here. Overall, a very comprehensive book and one of the best books out there when you look at other ones. Like The Wetterlings is nice, but it's more artsy, artsy fartsy kind of colloquial stuff. Whereas this is like, okay, you want to use your axe? This is how you do it. And here's our big catalog. Here's how, and then, it, okay, how to split it, right? And then get this how to store your wood. That's really neat. I like that a lot. These people really want you to use their products and also you want you to, you know, conserve what you're you're doing. So they're teaching you how to cut and split wood and not have it go to waste. So let's get through here because we are doing an axe review and this isn't some like, you know, tabletop of, of books. So all the different things here, how to throw an axe for crying out loud, the rules of axe throwing. It's just very comprehensive. Uh, sharpening your axe, using a file, using stones, different angles that you want, which is nice to know. How to, how to repair your axe, so repair the handle. Like, pretty freaking awesome. All right, let's put that away and let's look at this axe that I've been talking up here. Does it really, you know, is it worth its salt? So here it is. Quickly, we'll do the uh, credit card here size. It's about the width of a credit card. And when you look at this here with the Zippo here, you know, proportionately, that's where it's at. Let's measure it up. I'm looking at a mean on the nose, three and a quarter inches here from the, from the back to here. It's, I would say exactly six inches. Depth wise, we're looking at about one and an eighth or one and three sixteenths handle. We have this beautiful hickory heartwood handle. It's dark. Um, I didn't pick this out, but I would have picked it. It came from uh, Lee Valley here in Canada. They've done something different on this on this hunting axe. And what they've done is they put it through a machine and they've put some like very, very faint serrations in here or corrugations, you could call them. So that when you're using this and your hands are sticky or slippery from uh, harvesting an animal, maybe there's blood on your hands or you're washing it up on a creek bed or something like that, it stays in your hand. So I really, really like that. I also like the gradual slope. Uh, not, well, not slope, but curve of this. It, it kind of slopes down and then curves, but it just really fits in your hand. And as I've said in other reviews, this handle grabs back at you. It really does. Like you grab this thing and it's just like, that feels great. When we put it up against the cutting board here, you can see how when this area is parallel, we again have the, the front of the axe here touching here, curving up. And if you take a look at the handle, it's straight, but then this, this edge here is just kneeing down with all these corrugations. Love it. Obviously, we have a hole there. Now, let's get into the finer, you know, kind of qualities of this axe, right? The heart and soul, which is the axe head. Look at this. This is all rounded. This is smooth. Very, very smooth. Polished, in fact. So that when you choke up on here, 
you're not going to hurt your hand. Now that's not the reason it's polished. I learned about this recently, but if you were to skin an animal, grab the skin, you can take this and hit the skin and peel the skin off the animal by striking it with the pole here on this axe. Very, very interesting. The initials of the person that forged this head is KS, which I absolutely love about this company because for me it just, it's all about accountability, right? If there's something wrong with this, if the temper's wrong, it'll go back and they will fix it. They will find out, okay, well, what, what did we do? Did we heat treat this wrong? Well, you keep doing this over a number of years and your quality and your standards of quality is gonna go through the roof, which it has. Overall, this ax, if you're comparing this to uh, a Wetterlings, this is a better ax in a lot of ways. Fit and finish, it's nicer. Okay, Wetterlings is great. How good is the steel? I'll let you know because I will be using them in the field. But I can tell you right now, the way this fits together, the way this is put, put on here, it's straighter than a Wetterlings. And I've gone through all sorts. I was at Wholesale Sports and I think they thought I was crazy going through all their axes. But the Wetterlings were always twisted a little bit. It took me a while to find one. With the Grand Force Brooks, this is my second one. I have a little hand hatchet also. It's straight. As far as the grain running here, it's a fairly fine grain and it's running on an angle here which a lot of people like to see them running this way to give it strength but again I'm gonna try it out overall very happy with this very impressed with it specs wise it's two pounds or 0 0.9 kilograms it's 18.5 inches long right here it has the vegetable tanned leather which we've already taken a look at and it's a very classy nice axe a lot of people have focused on wetterlings for these bushcraft axes. I'll put this up against anything they have. Not that I'm saying one's better than the other. This one's finished nicer and it just fits your hand a little nicer. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. it when I have it in my hand, it doesn't feel, I know I've got some weight there, but it feels agile. And when I choke up on it, I feel like I could, you know, if this was sharp enough, I could start skinning with it. And I'm sure it is intended for that. Overall, excellent axe. If you can get your hands on one of these, grab one. Message me. Let me know how you work, how it worked out for you. Edge-wise, not a bad edge. Uh, sharper than a Wetterlings out of the box. But not that much sharper. Only a little bit. It will curl your thumbnail here. You can, you can shave a little bit of thumbnail off here. But it's not really grabbing. And we all know that's a mark of a sharp edge. Here it's grabbing a bit, but it's inconsistent. It needs to be touched up. But as far as a factory edge on here, ample, and you probably could go right after dismembering an animal with this. Thanks for watching. This is one of my favorite axes. Have a great day.